Hello and welcome to our video. If you're new to our channel, please consider subscribing if you get value out of today's video. Over the next couple of minutes, we're going to show you some of the scenes of Libya. It's all part of 25 uncommon and unfamiliar countries to most of the world. We'll dive into the people, the places, and some of the history in this series. Going to Europe, America, exploring Africa is a dream that many people have. It's invaluable for many to see the new places and discover new cultures and people. But here's the thing. There are places that attract a lot of tourists every year in terms of the number of people that travel to the country. But what about other countries where tourists don't come? Maybe you're even hearing the name of Libya for the first time. Well, over the next few minutes, we'll dive in. Enjoy the video, whether you're a vacationer or just learning about a new place. Check out our other videos on our channel. This is what we do here. Let's dive in. Libya is the 13th among the least known countries in the world, according to 2017 estimates. Only 29,000 tourists visited the country that year. Muammar Gaddafi may be gone, but his legacy still stands to some extent. Gaddafi was a Libyan revolutionary, politician, and political theorist and ruled as an authoritarian dictator for more than 40 years in the country. Many bombings and attacks continue in the country till today. The government is working hard to increase the number of tourists, but it has still not yet succeeded. The biggest reason for this fact is that Libya is still mentioned in the world by war. In the coming years, the number of tourists in Libya is expected to increase at a very high rate. Libya, officially known as the State of Libya, is a country in the north of Africa. It's bordered by the Mediterranean Sea to the north, Egypt to the east, Sudan to the southeast, and Chad to the south. It also shares borders with Algeria to the west and Tanzania to the northwest. Libya as a country mostly lies in the Sahara Desert, and much of its population is concentrated along the coast and its immediate hinterland, where Tripoli, the de facto capital, and Benghazi, another major city, are located. Libya itself is comprised of three historically known regions, Tripolitania in the northwest, Cyrodansia in the east, and Fezzan in the southwest. The Ottoman authorities recognized them as separate providences. Under Italian rule, they were unified to form a single colony, which gave way to the independent Libya we know today. For much of Libya's early history, both Tripolitania and Cyrencia were more closely linked to neighboring territories than with each other. Before the discovery of oil in the late 1950s, Libya was considered poor in natural resources and severely limited by its desert environment. The country was almost completely and entirely dependent upon foreign aid and imports for the maintenance of its economy. The discovery of petroleum dramatically changed this situation. The government long exerted strong control over the economy and attempted to develop agriculture and industry with wealth derived from its huge oil revenues. It is rare that foreigners relocate to Libya without confirmed employment, much of which is the hydrocarbon or construction industries, most of which include employees going into the hydrocarbon or construction industries. And as a result, many expats have their accommodations, visas, healthcare, and even their children's education arranged by a relocation agency or by their employer. Alcohol, you should know, is banned in Libya. Nevertheless, some Libyans make their own beer or wine at home. Moonshine, which can often be incredibly strong, is sometimes sold illegally. Oil revenues remain Libya's main source of income. At the beginning of the 21st century, oil and natural gas together accounted for almost three-fourths of the nation's income and nearly all of the country's export earnings, although they employed less than one-tenth of the labor force. Libya has one of the highest GDP per capita in Africa. Libya's territory, 90% of which is desert, has the largest oil reserves in Africa and one of the largest in the world. As a result, Libya's economy is highly dependent on oil production, which accounts for over 94% of government revenues. Libya work visas are granted to foreign nationals who wish to work in Libya. Working in the country without a work visa is illegal. An interesting fact for Libya is Libya was the only country in the world with a plain flag. And from 1977 until 2011, Libya became the Libyan Arab Republic of the Great Socialist People's Libyan Arab Jamahiriya by Gaddafi. During this time, the country had a plain green flag, the only country in the world with a designless flag. Libya boasts a stunning Mediterranean coastline, also gorgeous desert landscapes, 
and no fewer than seven UNESCO World Heritage Sites. NATO is not on the ground in Libya. The country has begun to be an issue on the agenda of the alliance because of the allies. As we see the growth of Libya, we would like to share some of the wonderful and unique views to the country. Over the next few minutes, we'll continue to show you some of the scenes of Libya. Till then, stay with us, subscribe to our channel for more about amazing countries just like Libya. If you have any questions, please do comment below and share our videos.